What's going on guys? Noah Brewer here, Young Real Estate Millionaire. And today we're gonna to be asking other young real estate millionaires, what's the best way to make a million dollars? Let's get right into it. What's going on everybody? This is Marco, he is my real estate mentor and he's running the show tonight at the event. So I'm Marco, I'm the host. Thank you guys for coming so much, it means a lot. We're gonna host more of these events. You wanna introduce yourself, let them know what you do? Hey guys, my name is Marco. I'm a real estate broker, investor, and entrepreneur in this field. And I've been doing it for about six years now. So I have some experience, not a lot, but enough to know what I'm talking about, I hope. So in your opinion, like if somebody wants to get started in real estate, what's the, what's the first thing that they should do? So this is just my opinion. There's like a million different ways to do it. I would say if you're very entrepreneurial-like and you wanna get started and kind of build your own business, then you're probably gonna wanna start off with something like wholesaling that doesn't require any license and it allows you to make you know, pretty big money right away. I mean, I've had some 40, 50, 60 grand wholesale deals. Mm -hmm. So like, that's a really good way. If you're just trying to get invested and maybe you're a little bit more settled down, you have a job and stuff, then I would say house hacking is probably the best way to get started. Because it's gonna change your life almost nothing, but it's gonna change your net worth a ton. And it's gonna lower what your biggest expense is. In your opinion, if somebody was starting with like, I don't know, 20, 30 grand, how long do you think it would take them? Like if they were following like your strategies to, to reach a million dollar net worth. Are they hustling or not? Yeah, like let's let's just assume they're somebody like me, like pedal to the metal, fucking going hard, like yeah, yeah. I, I think they can get there in two, three years. Two, three years? Because I started it with less and it took me two, three years to become a millionaire in real estate. Okay, cool, how much did you start with? I started, brother, with nine grand. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Straight up, yeah. I was like 18, 19, getting my license. Uh, I had nine grand in my account. I quit my job. I had like two, three months of expenses cut out. And then I didn't make money the first month, mm -hmm. for, first few months, six months, I think. Cool. Well, thanks for sharing, bro. It was really, really valuable. And obviously, I'll put his Instagram uh, right on the screen here, at Marco Epifani on Instagram. Definitely go follow this guy. He knows what he's doing, knows, knows what he's talking about. Lots of value on Instagram reels and whatever. But yeah, thanks for sharing. Brother, my pleasure. See you tonight. So this is Bruno, another one of my real estate mentors and somebody I work with a lot. Um, you want to introduce yourself, talk about what you do? Sure. What's up, guys? My name is Bruno Maloof. I'm a real estate investor. I've been doing it for a little over half a decade now. I've had the pleasure to buy a few deals with this guy right here. <laughs> and uh, most of my stuff is off market, value add, and that's what I do. Cool. So just to get right into it, if you were talking to somebody who like never bought a deal before, never like has any experience in real estate, where would you recommend that they start if like their end goal was to make a million dollars? I would recommend that you start the exact same way that I started, which was just getting into your first deal however you can. For me, it was house hacking. So I was working a W-2 job, sales at Toyota, I was selling cars. And I was like, yo, I'm trying to be a millionaire. I know most people who are millionaires invest in real estate. So I got to get my first deal done. I ended up house hacking a four unit. Took me eight months to find the deal, eight months to close on the deal. Crazy story, it's on my YouTube channel if you wanna watch it. But basically just get into your first deal, whatever you do, because any deal can change your life. I know it did for me, so that's what I always say. Yeah, funny story, that four unit that you bought for your first deal, me and my buddy actually bought from you um, at a fair market rate, which gave him a healthy profit, and, and we're still you know, holding the property and cash flowing, so that's really, really awesome. And it kind of shows you how property you know, trades hands to like one investor to another. Um, it was a very profitable deal for him, but it's also a very profitable deal for us. So it's like, it's crazy how that works, honestly, because like a lot of people assume whenever you sell a property, you know, you're kind of like screwing the other person or whatever, and it's not like that at all. Like it's usually a win-win, everybody's making money, everything's really good. Straight up. Especially here in America, man. Yeah. There's more money that goes around here than there are good places for the money to go. So as long as you find a good deal, it's like the money is easy. Like, don't even worry about that part. Reach out to some people if you're struggling with that. But as long as you find a good deal, that's all you need. Cool, bro. That's insane. But thanks for sharing your story here. And again, if you want more value, go check out this dude's YouTube channel. It's uh, at Bruno Maloof. You can just look him up. Um, but yeah, thanks for sharing, bro. It's 100%. always good getting together. Anytime. All right, guys, this is a, a pretty good acquaintance. I, I don't know him too well, but we've talked a few times. His name's Patrick. So uh, you want to kind of introduce yourself. What, what do you do? Like, how did you get into real estate, this type of stuff? Um, Patrick Sullivan. Um, most, I got into real estate just from the housing crash originally. Bought up a whole bunch of stuff when the market sucked. And used to be able to buy a triple decker for 30 grand in Worcester. We used to buy those things all the time. And um, did that for quite a few years and then eventually became an agent and eventually became uh, really involved in sober housing and that's predominantly what we do now. Cool. Sober housing. So can you, can you tell us a little bit about that? I mean, you don't have to go too much in detail, but... Yeah, basically, it's like regular real estate except uh, we specifically house people out of drug and alcohol treatment programs. Cool. 
And and how come you decided to go that direction as opposed to like just like regular like buy and hold rentals? It's much more scalable. Um, it's a lot easier to deal with uh, the tenants in a lot of ways. Um, it's much more profitable in a lot of different ways. Um, cool. So kind of a weird question, but I've been asking everybody this. If somebody were to, you know, say like, let's say they have $30,000 in cash that they've just saved up um, after taxes, right? They want to get into real estate. What would you tell that person to do? Like, let's say their goal was to make a million dollars. How would they go from like 30K to a million net worth? The biggest thing that people worry about, I think, is like they're trying to make too much money on the first one, not realizing the things that people look at for what they need to do to make money. And like, if you want to go to a, like a hard money lender, if I called my hard money lender right now and I said, I need five million bucks to buy this place, he would just ask me to send him the paperwork. We do the things, he'd give me five million dollars. You know, a lot of place, people, you know, you can't, obviously can't do that and you have to build up to that. And that's what you have to really be more focused on than trying to make the money. So like your first deal, you shouldn't care about making money on your first deal. You should care about getting your name on something and being involved in it and doing something, you know, go be someone's slave that, you know, for a 50 unit and make literally nothing. But you get to say that you were involved in a 50 unit, you get to do everything. So when you go to the hard money lender later and you go to the other investors, you go like, oh, look at this 50 unit that I did and your name's on it and they can look and they can see. They don't care that you didn't make any money on it because they don't get to see the balance sheet and they don't get to actually determine any of that stuff they just know that you built a 50 unit you mm. know and it helps your credibility massively and gets you going but everybody's just way too concerned if i need i need to make a profit on every single deal i do every time when you should be more concerned of like trying to build like your worth and what you can do and what people know about like you go on facebook right now and say hey i want to open a sober house 10 people are going to tag me you know no matter <laughs> what group you're in or what you do yeah. they're not going to tag anybody else either they're yeah. only going to tag me it happens on um uh, black diamond all the time right you know, because I'm just known as the sober house guy mm. and everyone just knows it and that's what I built it as. But I didn't make shit from those things for quite some time right. you know, because I was worried about building it up to so people knew what I was. Cool. Well, you're an absolute stud. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing you. your value. Um, and you can find all my links and things like that. Cool. So if you want to learn more from this guy, because clearly he, he knows what he's talking about, go to patrickcsullivan.com. I'll show it on the site. So this is my boy, Nora. You might recognize him from uh, previous videos, but he's actually one of the top solar salespeople in New York. We should do a day in the life with him. You probably got a pretty damn cool life. Drive, drives a Lambo, GD2 M4, you know, Q6. You still got that thing? Yeah, of course, bro. Yeah, I, got, so Q6. I got all three. I mean, Only broke people for like a trade in their cars. Yeah, facts, bro. So. Uh, right now we're interviewing real estate millionaires. So I know that you only have like what one or two properties. I only got one property right now. I yeah, had so. a second property I was buying, but the deal fell through. Little complications, but I don't have a truck. All right, well, Still you one. know, cool. Tell us about your one deal. Why'd you buy it? What are the numbers like? How, how has it benefited you? Just, just give me some breakdown on that deal. Well, I don't already have to explain, but I think the viewers already understand that their money is dead in a bank. So money is only useful. Money only has value unless it's put to use. And the value that it's being traded is what you get out of it. So uh, the whole part of me buying the deal was to park my money, um, allow it to appreciate, generate cash flow from it, benefit from taxes, and also get the loan pay down and develop equity. So that was the main play. Um, the numbers made sense right out the gates. I didn't really have to spend much. I put the down payment down. I had to do a little remodel. But a lot of people get caught up with the fact oh when they take a wall down there's going to be problems on the outside <laughs> that that's a risk you take yeah but these are minor problems everything in the house is fixable and i don't think that's what people realize and that's what scares them away from doing a deal and i'm a victim of it you know i was petrified of doing my first deal and uh when i did my first deal i did the complete opposite of what everybody's scared of I took down every fucking wall in the building <laughs> cool so like let's say somebody wants to get into real estate they have no idea what they're doing What's the first thing they should do if they want to at least like start learning or start getting into it? Call Noah, call Marco, <laughs> call Bruno. I definitely wouldn't say call me, but <laughs> definitely somebody like Marco, like an agent who knows what they're doing in their area. Yeah, I mean, uh, Marco, Marco gave me really good uh, advice and uh, it was to deal with a real estate agent that's not too busy, but also not too incompetent. And uh, deal with somebody right in between that has a side business, that real estate is really their side thing. Because you can really spend a lot of time with them, asking them a lot of questions, going through the process. So that was one. Um, wholesale a deal. You know, I've wholesaled two deals in my life. And it was probably the best things I've ever done because I got to talk to sellers. I got to get on the sales side of things and understand mm -hmm. how buyers and sellers work. Um, so that's a, a good place to start. 
if you don't have 30 grand in the bank, wholesaling is probably going to be your best bet because there's very low barrier to entry and you get a ton of experience and knowledge from doing it. Right. You can make money from nothing. From nothing. Cool. Well, thank you so much for coming on and uh, sharing your experiences. Let's get back to this event. Let's do it.